I think what brought us all together is the shared science that we've made together and the friendships that we have. KHRI is definitely the extended family <laughs> and Dr Yusuf has been a fantastic mentor for me. Uh, it's been fun working with PJ, he's a, a great leader and obviously a gr great clinician researcher. Um, we worked on vision which was a study that looked at perioperative myocardial infarction uh, in the setting of non-cardiac surgeries. I think PHRI has really done better trials than any other institute in North America. So it's had a big part to play in the improvements in medication which have pushed vascular death rates down to the low level they now are. There's not much research in rheumatic heart disease and other diseases which affect low and middle income countries. So I think what PHRI can do with its large network of uh, largely developing countries as well is that we can answer some very important questions in these areas which are never going to be addressed by industry or any other research groups. We started the in interstroke study, also one of the most important studies against a specific area, identifying again the modificable risk factor for a stroke. This is the first clinical trial where uh, around uh, one quarter of the sample that was recruited coming from Latin America, coming specifically from Colombia and Ecuador. And this was the first clinical trial, the HOP3 study. MP, which uh, as you heard today, has left behind a great infrastructure uh, that has allowed us to conduct uh, smaller scale studies without necessarily the help of PHRI, which is important. By training at PHRI, this enabled myself to do my own research in Brazil, and not only Brazil, but in the region, in Latin America. We are looking at how we can deliver the treatments we know to get the best effect. And what we're working on now is this polypill, and how we can reach it out to the people who really need it, who don't have access to doctors. Can we use non-physician people to deliver the polypill? The TIPS3 study is an example of an approach to treatment that solves many problems. No? The, uh, so in the Philippines, this is very important because a lot of people uh, need all the medications that are in the polypill, but they can't afford these medications, which are considered affordable in other countries. 20 years I've been uh, working at The Lancet and we've been dealing with um, Dr. Yusuf's work. I guess the, the, the ones where, where he came to my notice particularly because he was the corresponding author was Interheart, which made a, a massive change. The Interheart study which identified that risk factors are similar across the world. The PHRI has tried, I think, very hard to adopt an independent path, and I think that shows in the kinds of studies that PHRI chooses to prioritize. The discussions around the idea of a COMPASS trial actually are dating back to 2005 and it was uh, brilliantly uh, conducted by PHRI. It was actually the first trial uh, we decided to give completely to an ARO, uh, so to say at arm's length uh, and, uh, and run it as a large and simple trial. The real calling card of Salim and the PHRI to begin with was simplicity, collecting less data but doing it more effectively because it fit in with practice. Now we all have electronic health records, uh, digital media is all over society, people can register in from home. And I see the PHRI you know, beginning to get into that sphere. And it really uh, has very little differentiation according to the income of the society, which I know is another thing. For example, the greatest cell phone penetration is in India now and Sub-Saharan Africa. Coming from Sub-Saharan Africa, we face a, what we call quadruple burden of disease, i.e. it's not just cardiovascular disease, it's infectious diseases, it's uh, maternity and uh, infancy related diseases, and it's trauma. Okay, so uh, we've got a major problem on our hands, and the question really is, how are we going to have a major impact on health over time. I think that our focus for the next 20 years really needs to be before they have that index cardiovascular event. We need research to how to mitigate air pollution. A key area that PHRI will, will address in the, in the coming decade 
will be the association of diet with, with people's health. Uh, the Pure study and other studies from PHRI have severely challenged uh, widely held beliefs. The Pure study is, I say, that is the most ambitious study that the human being have developed at any time. A key priority for PHRI moving forward is around neurovascular health. Uh, prevention of dementia. I hope that over the next 10-20 years it'll play a big part in finding out what has made the decrease in vascular mortality stall and help get it going down again. Collaboration isn't easy to do, uh, especially if you look at the way that BHRI does collaboration. Salim involves us all the way. Together we make this research magic happen.